What up, world? Got a very special package. I'll make my way to the theater to reveal it live on the gram. Very excited. Hi. We're coming to see you tonight. That's awesome. <laughs> How you doing? Good. I'm glad you guys You're came. She loves you, but she loves your fiance. Oh, God. Like, I love my fiance that's too. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Milwaukee got a lot of fan love. By the way, in the vortex. Look at me. My mom's gonna kill me for this. Only a T-shirt, huh? If you're in Milwaukee, by the way, Dancing with the Stars tour is here tonight, live, so come on by. While we wait, how did you guys like the Super Bowl? Time. Yes, you are. <laughs> what Super Bowl? Yo, by the way, look how, look at this river. How you doing? Like my heart. Frozen. Perfect. Oops, sorry. Ah, no worries. How you doing? Good. <sighs> flights of stairs. It's an old school theater. It makes you earn it. <laughs> Hello from Germany. Hi. Hi from Germany. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. We'll keep it brief because it is a uh, Monday. It's a work day. People got things to do. Um, but yeah, this is a very special package, and I'm gonna open it live with you guys. I already know what it is, but it's still very special, nonetheless. All right, here we go. Boom. Val, the paperback looks great, Lisa. Thank you so much. Yes. So, we're re-releasing my book, paperback version. So, if you haven't gotten the the original, you're getting this one. And it has a very special sticker here, the national bestseller, which it became last year when it uh, released. Again, the book is called I'll Never Change My Name. It's soft. It's mobile. You could put it under your shirt. You could put it in front of your, I don't know, history textbook. Pretend like you're doing homework in school, but actually be reading my book. It's very educational as well. But anyway, uh, I'm really proud of it. Again, I haven't spoken about it in a long time. So, you know, this is kind of like, kind of like reliving that moment all over again. So I'm, I'm really, again, I'm glad that it's uh, found a life a rebirth, if you will. And uh, yeah, if you haven't gotten your copy, get the paper bag. If you did get your copy, get your friend a copy. I love this book. I love the fact that I got a chance to um, speak my mind, write it down. And uh, you know, 
on a lot of things that you otherwise don't see me discussing or rarely get to see me do on television. So this is very personal to me. It's very honest and very inspirational and motivational. And I know you got a million things to read and a million things to do, but I promise you, you won't regret reading this book. It's an easy read. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I spelled most of the words right. And uh, there's a bunch of pictures here in the middle that are gonna blow your mind, blow your mind. There you go, look at that. Look at that, that's my pops, he's a stud. Let's see what else. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, this is me doing the Steve Urkel back in the day. My grandma's glasses and a stained shirt. What else, you got me playing the violin for the guests in our living room in Brooklyn, that's right. What else? Uh, this is me and my first dance partner. Look at that gentleman, chivalrous and all. Anyway, it's an, uh, yeah, it's an awesome read. And why don't I read a little, a little something from the book? Let's see, which part should I read? Uh, there we go, let's do a chapter of school. Jesse to Brooklyn represented a huge head-twisting transition for all of us in the family. Due to the rollerblades incidents, Max and I had been put on notice that we had to watch our shit. Step up our game a bit, figure out how to negotiate around the obstacles and pitfalls of the brave new world we had been dropped into. But my mom and pops had steep learning curves too. We had people in Milwaukee and could have moved out there. Nothing against Wisconsin or the Midwest, but I can't imagine how different my life would have been if my parents had taken that route. New York City is the life for me, my true home, full of energy and possibility and excitement. Even today, whenever I say for long stretches in Los Angeles, somewhere in my heart, I rest easy with the knowledge that the city, New York City, is just a plane ride away. In Brooklyn, the Chmikovsky family was no longer surrounded by people who looked like us, sounded like us, and lived like us. We were now trying to survive amid huge numbers of other immigrants from all over the world. As much of a melting pot as Odessa had been, Brooklyn was on a whole different level. Just a walk down the block meant I'd hear maybe half a dozen different languages with countless heritages represented. African American, Italian, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Cuban, Russian, Polish, Indian, Pakistani, Arab, Muslim, Albanian. It was New York City, man. To my young years, all of the voices sounded Italian. Jewish, Russian, Latino, it didn't matter. Everyone had an Italian accent, which meant excessive swearing, excessive fronting, and excessive display of that alpha dog survival instinct. There was no place in the world with more tough guys than New York City. And as a teenager, I once wrote, New York City, my concrete jungle. These streets make the proudest cat humble. Make the loudest dog mumble on these streets. You don't rumble, you get stumped on and fumble. All right, a little sum. I'll keep reading, maybe we'll make it a thing. Uh, but if you don't, haven't gotten your copy, get the brand new soft cover copy. I appreciate you. Read it, have fun with it. Highlight your favorite parts. Hit me on the gram, tell me what you like. Uh, and uh, again, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your support. And uh, I mean, it's a national bestseller. So, mama, I made it. Mama, I made it. Love you guys, thank you.